it has to be somebody somebody that we just met in the last episode him or somebody one of these guys have to have something to do with them fighting that gets him killed it has to be i i lean towards it we can already tell that jealousy happens just look at the way they were looking at him being in the group yep Ah, damn. That's like the perfect formula to become a gang member. Actually, the way he is, is surprising with that background. And the way he grew up. Could have turned out so worse. Jeez. How? How would you not get in trouble? Well, I don't know what they do in Japan, but how the hell do you get not in trouble for giving kids tattoos? Jesus. Seriously! <laughs> You're the one that gave him the damn tattoo! <laughs> what the fuck? So he was beating up middle school kids as in elementary schools. Oh, so that's how they meet. So obviously they balance each other later. So does... Maybe the way Mikey acts in elementary school here is how he reverts after Draken dies. I have a feeling his personality is probably at least a little different. Seems the same. Yeah, <laughs> seems the same so far. What the? F <laughs> what the? <laughs> He's got a fucking sucker in his mouth. Like. <laughs> What does he mean? Maybe he instantly realized that he wasn't a threat, or more so that he liked him immediately. He seems to, the same way we saw him interact with the main character, he seems to know who he likes immediately. But... What the hell? What the f He went for the main guy? I guess this is probably how he got his position in the first place. Now he's pissed. You made him take a sucker out of his mouth. Get that guy a tissue. I guess he's... You would think he'd be a good judge of character the way he's acting. Oh! Wait, so he got the same tattoo to match... Okay. Definitely shows the closeness. The more people he like learns about in the gang, the more access and people he has to talk to uh, in the future. This is why I like this show so much. It's like there's it makes it so it's creative for one, but it makes this more layered. The story is more layered because you have two places in time that it's like having two worlds. 
that are like interconnected that are that you can kind of go back and forth from. But you're even though this is time travel, obviously, it really does feel like two play two worlds and like everything kind of interacts with each other in some sense. And you can really screw up, obviously, in the past, but it also in the future, you can uh, talk to people and learn new things. There's just there's so much. Was that Osunai? Wait, no. What the fuck? He looks depressed as hell. So this guy is supposed to be the leader in... Huh. That seems to have probably... I'm guessing life went downhill after that. Kind of like the main character. Oh. Oh, he's There seems to be more to this. His. So something happened there. Is this another person in Mobius in, in that group then? Or is it what I originally thought? Somebody actually in Tomen. Which we've met a few people now. Time travel. On. I guess they really... He really likes to talk about farting. <laughs> That's one benefit of going back. You can see the people that you know die. Completely different than what ends up happening. Yeah, you're not gonna look crazy at all. I guess that's all he can do for him right now is give him encouragement. So everything he says to somebody, that happened now in the future. I guess you can just kind of hope that something you can say can help change things, too. Oh, shit. Doesn't seem like the best time. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the right time. Every The mood seems off. A lot to ask for. See, I'm suspicious of either him, the guy that just threw him Potch in or whatever, or the guy, the only people that we've, the only other guy that they've really shown in the last couple episodes that would make sense, silver haired guy or him or both. It's it, it the way the story has flowed so far. It makes the, and him especially, it feels I, I don't know, though it wouldn't make sense because they're doing it because of him, but then that makes that even more suspicious because I, I don't know, because that wouldn't make any sense. It, it, maybe I have to lean more towards the other guy, but I don't know. It might be one of those double, like, uh, like what are those called? Like, when you fake somebody out, uh, like make something very, very obvious, and, like, where it's, there's no way it could be this guy, but it ends up being that guy. It could be something like that as well. I don't know. Like I said, it wouldn't make any sense. I'm leaning towards the other guy. 
It would be a really big twist if it was him, but it makes no sense. Yeah, you can't change the mind like that. You can tell he's determined. That is going to sound weird. But it also, you can tell he's sincere. No. There's no way he could be the reason why there's inner conflict between these two. Like, something happens between these two because... No. Oh, God damn, did he change? Dick chance. Jesus. Wow. That's a... Something that big changed this guy. Because look at that confidence compared to his older self. The fuck? Oh, sh oh shit. They're going to jump them. So much for August 3rd. So something they said in the future when he before he went makes me think that things had changed a little bit. That their actual fight is earlier, but the conflict is on the third between their those two. That was the, the thing I noticed too. Was it was like. It was talking about the conflict between those two on August 3rd. The fight was supposed to happen on August 3rd, but that's the... Okay, so that when it was first said like that, I was wondering, I was like, then uh, how... How is... Uh, the, the fight is supposed to be August 3rd, so how would they have time to have like this, this fight between these two factions? Now this is making more sense. They jump them or attack them, and because uh, something that happens here is the reason why... The big thing is, is the, you saw them wanting to, like, one, we saw the conflict, the conflict between those two. Uh, I was wondering because how, we do know that they're very, they're a little bit different, but they work very well together. I had, but we hadn't really seen them argue to this extent before. That one was real. But the weird thing was, it was instigated, them arguing there was instigated by the main character. That was the little twist that I wasn't really seeing, uh, noticing. But now the more that I think about it, is he the reason why they're confl they, they have a conflict in the first place? Uh, like, uh, in general, the only reason why they're even that's even happening is because of him. A lot of the things we saw, the deaths happen in the future because of what he changed and did. I feel like... Uh, and I think in any type of time travel situation, like the more and more and stuff he changes here and does, the more deaths that could happen, the more bad things. And if he thinks about it too much, he could blame himself for a lot of these things. It doesn't seem like he really has right now. But when I think about it, partly a lot of this stuff is technically leaning more, you know, a little bit his fault. I mean, the death of his friend there, he changed. He he wasn't supposed to die there, but changing the future made him die. I, I'm actually kind of surprised he hasn't gotten depressed or anything, but I guess he hasn't really had time for that. I guess it's more so because he can change it. I, I think that's the reason why he hasn't, like, because he has the opportunity to still change it, it's not gotten to him. Now, if there was no opportunity to save these people and he knew that he was the reason why they're all dead, then, yeah, then I... Uh, then yeah, the, things would go a lot worse. But because he has that opportunity, he still has this drive. But now them jumping, uh, jumping in like this and jumping him, this makes things very, very complicated. Um, it's getting good. This show is getting really good. Um, thank you for watching. If you guys want, uh, want to recommend something yourself, an episode or three episodes or a movie, definitely check out the Yandere tier or the Waifu tier on my Patreon. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.